one entire year of hilarious and crazy Bangtan. 2022 was a ride. Not only will it go into history as being the start of BTS's Chapter 2, but also the source of more unique and diverse historical content. Buckle up, we're about to experience how chaotic BTS were in 2022. Cookie's launch of his edgy hoodie and amazing Maker Cosmos mood lamp during the Artist Made Collection show was nothing short of legendary. I mean, did he mistake Tay for a mannequin? I would do. He's a baby, don't judge him. Tay just that sculpted gorgeousness. And having the gorgeous rap line model your brand, only John Jung Cook can do it. The way they're dancing a song is really entertaining. Cookie forgot he had to present the mood lamp as well. <laughs> He's so adorable. They're all so adorable. My goodness. Like Namjoon and Jin being models for Jimin's With You hoodie and earrings. Totally adorable the way Jun is trying to walk that fake dog on the fake grass as a real dog owner. But the models are in their own world as Jin has his ramen set up for him and Juni to eat. Uh, what happened to modeling the merch? But they're definitely still selling it while they're eating on the job, so it counts. Bangtan will enjoy their meal as long as they have a chance, the same way they're always ready to tease each other. Like at the PTD Las Vegas concert, the members tease Yoongi with our inside joke, Yoongi, marry me! Yoongi, marry me! Yoongi, marry me! Little Meow Meow's nose scrunch is so cute. Very marriable of him, I must say. The concert pictures of BTS posted on their Instagram were pristine. The Tani's Instagram accounts are always fun places to go to. Like when Tay would always comment on JK's boxing videos to the point he dared JK to box him. Cookie doesn't seem to think he can survive boxing him and Tay's got the knowledge to prove otherwise. Hobi is totally us in this funny convo. They did box after all. Tay posting the video on Twitter on JK's birthday, but this is more adorable than threatening if you ask me. The youngest line are perpetually adorable, while the young line are eternally crackheads. Who buys an expensive bicycle seat for their brother's birthday? Just a seat. Hobi sure has a sense of humor, so when Jin gets him a golden toilet brush, super expensive, mind you. These are the kind of trinkets we'd find in Tay's house. He just has to laugh. They match each other's energy so well. In Chapter 2, armies treasure the interactions we get. OT7 together is like the croc to us. But the new individual contents we get is amazing as well, like when Bangtan had their usual individual vlogs. Jin had a great time making and showing us how to make men Bosha whilst being the joke star he naturally is. Jin randomly being friends with top class chefs is such a flex. Hobie showed his album process, also showed him packing for the Las Vegas concerts, and when he did his April Fools, we all fell for it. 제가 사실 오기 전에 위버스로 간단하게 거짓말을 쳤는데 어, 팬 여러분들이 너무 진지하게 받아주셔가지고 어 이거 이러면 안 되는데 라는 생각에 바로 어, 만우절 거짓말을 했다고. It was so embarrassing. He had to apologize because the media fell for it to our sweetheart. Another sweetheart is Jimin who's mouthing his words instead of saying them. Lip reading? Let's get it! He's a funny guy just like Tay Tay and his road trip log. He's... 
지금 아얘 영상이 언제 끝날까 하지만 아직 절반이랍니다 He learned on the job that writing subtitle is hard <웃음> Taeyong and his partner in crime, Jungkook, are always up to something chaotic. During Proof Music Show's promotions, their ending fairy theatrical wink is as adorable as it is hilarious. Fitting for our choddings as K-Diamonds called them, one thing for sure, all of ARMY is whipped for Tae and Cookie. We're also whipped for the iconic birthday tweet, It's Uga Young from Yoongi every year. But his bickering partner Jimin just had to call him out. They even bicker in the Twitter comment section, guys. So adorable. Twitter is a place for birthday posts as Hope Film never disappoints. I miss Hobi though. The video he posted for Yoongi's birthday has Yoongi yelling and screaming in a humorous way. Everyone on Twitter was losing it. Yeah, we yeah, later yeah. found out it was ad libs that Yoongi yeah, was doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah! <laughs> 2022 gave us a whole lot of Bangtan music, hence, side splitting promotions and behinds. Taxi Nukim Juni's bicycle that can paradoxically crash any car, always a gentle giant or leader. Hobie and Jin being hilarious and being more hilariously crazy during the astronaut promotions. Cookie's exceptional World Cup performance of Dreamers is historic, but our baby legend still played with the Falcon on the set. During Indigo promotions, Juni was kind enough to give us a house tour, him, books, and lots of paintings. Kurin? 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 Jogak? 2022 also gave us memories of 2021 DVD to reminisce how. Cookie will always be our precious kid. His iconic We Wanna Focus On as BTS accept their MAA Artist of the Year, the first Asian act to win this award. In 2022, we wanna uh, we, we focus on... We wanna focus on... Yeah, I'm deeply touched by my. It's so endearing, you can watch it and not smile. You're smiling, aren't you? Banton always put a smile on our faces, like when they released their awesome photo folios. The making had Jin on a boat and actually fishing. Here's where he made the legendary greatest of all time song for heroes, Super Tuna. <laughs> BTS also had collaborations with games like Free Fire where Jin unveiled his entirely original Pink Princess outfit. Free Fire costume they also talked with us a lot on Weavers, where chaos ensued. When Hobie asked for the meaning of Slay, we collectively had an italicized oh moment, and Rapline hasn't ceased using it since then. Slay! They're such goofballs. Jin was even in Jimin's live comment section calling his permed hair Beethoven's sunbay name. That was really funny. Jinny had such a hair dilemma, he replied to someone saying he could sell his long hair and become rich. BTS for getting their millionaires for the 777th time. In August, Tay Tay had a workout spree. He posted with angry emojis about how he's been working out and dieting to look fit. His little comments were adorable and funny. 
The endless search for Yungi's 7 tattoo. This post was embarrassing. We're trying Yungi cut us some slack, please. All this contents and Yungi still has his tattoo location a secret. 7 tattoo 도대체 어디 있을까? 어디 있을까? 어디 있을까? 모르겠지. 아유, 어디 있을까? 아유, 어디 있을까? 어. Not even revealing it during his lives. Batan lives have always been chaotic like Jungkook's birthday live featuring a totally not drunk drunk Jin delivering grapes and wishing him a happy birthday from his entrance behind the kitchen counter. <laughs> what goes oh on in BTS land? <laughs> he also made quite an art piece out of Cookie's cute bunny cake. JK posted it before and after on Weavers and Oh, the cake got a drastic makeover, but it's still delicious. He was cutely dozing off in this OD7 Choose of Life. Super adorable. Contrasting with Hoagie saying all of Jin's friends look older than him. <laughs> Taste proof listening live had him rolling on the floor, especially when he listened to Jinny's part in the Boys with Fun demo. Namjoon is so funny. BTS in their entirety is funny. Tae was losing the do not love challenge so bad that he had to go off camera to make it obvious he was muffling his cackle. <laughs> Hobie and the Maknae line unite for the post Busan concert live. Yes, the one where we were dubbed non-farting angels by the Park Jimin. Them teasing Cookie about this was funny though. Jimin's story of pretending to be someone else when someone almost recognized him is so funny. The person must have been shocked watching this live. <laughs> when Jin played in honor of Namjoon's birthday, it was hilarious. The game just didn't want him to win. He groaned and moaned and sighed, yet the little computer dude never survived. Tay's gaming live was too funny for words. The army's pushing him across the finish line to player Wong, killing everybody else just to stand big to big with him. What a moment. Although we couldn't have it weekly anymore, Ron BTS still, as always, contributed to the hilarity of 2022 Bangtan. Fly BTS Fly episode was pure chaos. At some point, Jimin had to apologize to the teacher for them being so loud. But it's just one of the best things we love about them. The Ron BTS TV on air episode had them doing their unique segments and commenting on each other like fans. The memes of themselves? Seven endearing goofballs. <laughs> <laughs> Another year of BTS being hilariously funny. What's not to love about these seven sweethearts? Praying the bond between BTS and ARMY only gets stronger with time. Check out more of our videos to continue experiencing the Bangtan madness. Apo bang po, borahe!